The crime scene is in here. I, I'm fine. I'm good. I, I, I can see it from here. Who, who made the chili? We did, in our own kitchen. I got Detective Laveau talking to the cooks. I think that's a bust. Who bore him the food? A trustee named Abernathy. He's one of Caspo's closest friends. I just talked to him. He's real upset about this, but I think he's clean. What did Ray Caspo do? Six years ago, he shot a gas station attendant in a robbery. Well, maybe the victim's family did it for revenge. No, no, that letter is from the victim's family. They say they forgive him, that they're praying for him. Well, maybe they lied. No, their, his name is Lapp. They're from Strasburg, Pennsylvania. They're Mennonite. Pacifists. They don't believe in violence. I think you're right, but that still leaves us with the big question. Why would anybody bother to spike a condemned prisoner's last meal? His last meal? He was scheduled to be executed at midnight. Mr. Monk, you were asking about our kitchen. It's right down here. I know you spoke to Dale Viderbeck. He's on our list of suspects. Sir, I really don't think he's involved in this. It's inexplicable. Why would anyone murder a condemned prisoner one hour before his execution? Maybe somebody was trying to shut him up. They were afraid he was going to confess something in the last minute. Doubtful. Ray Casper had recently found religion. He was calling reporters every day, apologizing for his sins, confessing to whatever he had ever done. The boy was all talked out. Excuse me. Thanks, man. You're welcome. We can get you a smaller sweatshirt. Oh, no, I'm fine, thanks. Our kitchen staff prepares over 1,100 meals a day here. That's more than most hotels. How's the food? Well, it must be good. Everybody here is a repeat customer. <laughs> Who prepared Mr. Caspo's last meal? I did. The chili was sitting on that stove for an hour. Anybody in the kitchen could have spiked it. Where is Mr. Tucker? According to this time card, he didn't punch out yesterday. But the last time I seen him, he was in the auxiliary freezer doing inventory. I want a total lockdown. Call the medical examiner. What the hell is going on? Check his pockets. Somebody paid him to poison the chili. And then had second thoughts. They were afraid he'd talk. At least we know how the meal was poisoned. But we still don't know who was behind it. Or why. Miss Fleming, what the hell's going on? It's all about him. Lambert Lawson? Yes, Lambert Lawson was suing the author of this book for millions of dollars. So what? So now that he's dead, the lawsuit's gonna be thrown out. What the hell does a dead billionaire have to do with one of my prisoners being poisoned? Everything, everything. Lambert Lawson died because he needed a kidney transplant. He was AB negative for the D antigen. It was the rarest blood type in the world. Guess who had the same blood type? Ray Caspo. So Lawson was waiting for Ray Caspo's kidney? Right, right. Meanwhile, J.T. De Mornay, who wrote this book, won Lawson dead. De Mornay, do I know him? No, his mother, Sylvia. The reading lady? Yeah. She used a maiden name when she applied here. Here, read the dedication. For my mother, Sylvia, who makes all things possible. She came here to kill Ray Caspo. She paid Tucker the cook to spike his last meal with enough poison to destroy his organs. Wouldn't the lethal injection have ruined the kidneys anyway? No, no, the injection attacks the nervous system, not the organs. But destroying that kidney, she murdered Lawson to protect her son. It's jungle out there. Disorder and confusion everywhere. No one seems to care. Well, I do. Hey, who's in charge here? It's jungle out there.